Hey, what's up, hello? So today I am taking myself on a little self-love date. I decided that I wanted to show you guys that it's okay to be like single or so I graduated from college a year ago and pretty much all of my friends live an hour plus away from me and like this weekend they all have things going on um so I decided I wanted to just like take myself out on a date I don't spend a lot of time with myself um I live at home so I spend a lot of time with my parents um and so I thought it would be a nice video. I saw Ashley Best Dressed did something like this. Um, and so I thought it would be a nice video just to show you guys the things you can do as a single individual. So, all right, now I'm parked outside of Target. I'm gonna go walk around Target. I just remembered there's a Spirit Halloween across the street that just moved in this year for whatever reason. I've gotten very excited about Halloween. So I think I might pop into Spirit Halloween and then there I need to get lunch at some point. It is like 12.30. Um, so I need to get lunch at some point and then there's also this new movie called Abominable I think I want to see but there are a couple of other films in the theater that I may be interested in seeing So I'm gonna check it out and see if there's a movie I can go see So let's hop in to Target and then if I have some spare time also I brought this with me over the top by Jonathan Van Ness um, I just started watching Queer Eye and that show is freaking fantastic um, So I brought that with me in case I had some time in between, maybe like I'm done shopping and then I just need something to do um, before like my movie. So I got my purse, I'm gonna grab you. Let's hop into Target. I don't need anything particularly. Um, I'd like to see if I can find like a cute headband or something for the fall. I don't know, but yeah, let's just pop in. Target has this new uh, 20 years of design collection and they have like a ton of different designers including Lily Blitzer which if you guys are from like a southern state like I am is very popular on here but Isaac Mirzari his collection it is a little bit pricier but he's a designer that's not bad $35 and this is like a corduroy pink dress I quite like this like a lot this is from Anna Sui Sue? It's already black. That is kind of expensive for just like a vest, but again, designer, really nice quality. The classic Lily. Treat yourself day. So I grabbed this Zach Posen dress. It's $60. I'm going to try it on, obviously. It's a 10, so I'm not thinking it's going to fit. I'm really like between a 10 and a 12 and like a 11 but I don't really wear like juniors clothing so we'll have to see if it fits I kind of don't want it to because it's 60 dollars we'll see here are some cute little corduroy jackets I quite like this mustard one 30 bucks not the worst I obviously have a clear color probably. So I have two things for outerwear, two dresses, two shirts, no pants. <laughs> but here's what we're working with. So let's try everything on. I like the idea of this, but I'm not sure I actually like it. I used to be like a big kimono wearer. Which just I guess is kind of like your fall version of a kimono, but I'm really not sure that I am digging it. I need to go down like two sizes in this jacket. I got it in an extra large, but there's just like so much room that it just is way too boxy for me, I think. But I like the style of this jacket. Though I wonder if it gets cold enough here for something like this. Actually, I like this. I do need to size down though. So I might try on a medium. Mm, this one I really like. Mm, I could never use this one. This is fun. 
but it doesn't fit that. Y'all, tell me these are not the cutest. I quite like this one. So I'm not really sure what I would do with it or if I need it, but I quite like it. So I just went into an old high school pal. So that one's really cool. I don't often see people that I know in my hometown. I think a lot of people have sort of like moved out. It's a very rural town. So like a lot of people who I grew up with have sort of like moved out of the county. Um, so it was really cool to like just run into her and we chatted for like a good 10 minutes or so. So yeah, right now I wanna go look for the photo shelves I want for my room. Um, a room transformation video is coming out soon, so that'll be cool. So this is the picture shelf I want, however, I want it in black, not white, and they're all sold out of those. So I'll have to come back another day and get those. The other option is I could do a natural wood finish, but I do need two, and I like the shape of this one better than the shape of this one. So I'll have to come back and try this again. This is my favorite section of Target. All the fall stuff. Guys, I love fall so much. These would be so cute in like a garden. They're freaking so funny. And that's also so adorable. It's like very childlike and quaint and I quite like that. Okay, so I was not actually in Target for as long as I anticipated because so the movie I want to see, there's a 1.45 showing and I was expecting to miss that, but it's actually 1.35 right now. I'm parked outside of the movie theater. Should be fine. Um, so, real quick, let me just show you what I got at Target. Oh, oh, stay standing, please. Okay, let me show you really quickly what I got at Target and then I'm gonna go and get my ticket. So first I got this little clip. It's on clearance for $3.98. I really like clips like this. This is the only, like, these types of clips are the only ones that will hold all of my hair back. The small ones just don't. Um, so I like this, and even these don't hold all of my hair because it is quite thick, despite what some people may think. It is quite thick. Um, I also picked up two pairs of tights because we're coming to tight season, y'all. So I picked up these ones, the medium large acceleration ones, and then these ones are on clearance for $3. They're from a new day, and they're these cute, lacy looking ones. And yeah, these should fit me, hopefully. Here's hoping. I picked up a black sweatshirt. I don't actually own a black sweatshirt, so just a plain black cropped hooded sweatshirt. I'm gonna wear that in the movie theater. This sweater right here, this is from the plus size section. It's from the brand Ava and V and Viv. Ava and Viv. Um, it's just like this striped sweater I tried on in the dressing room. And then I just picked up this scarf from the dollar section. I thought this was really cute, nice fall colors. It was seven buckaroonies. And that's everything I got. I'm just gonna take the tag off of this sweatshirt. There you go, guys. You even got a haul in this <laughs> so love day. Anyway, yeah, so let me head over to the movie theater. So I was gonna go see Abominable, but then I realized Peanut Butter Falcon, the new Shia LaBeouf movie is out and I recently was doing some research on that film and it looks really incredible, so I decided to see that instead. Okay, so thoughts on the film? It was good. 
I think it is a very character driven film, which is how Shia LaBeouf would describe the movie as well. Um, it's definitely not, I mean, it, it has a plot, but it might not have like the strongest plot. Like there isn't, the, I, the plot almost feels secondary to the character development and the relationships between the characters, which I actually thought was really interesting. I think it's really refreshing to see a different type of film, but I thought it was really good. The acting was fantastic. Of course, there's Shia LaBeouf, Zach Gadsden, I think is how you say his last name, and then Dakota Johnson, who is like the female lead in um, all of the Fifty Shades of Grey films. But yeah, I thought it was a really pleasant film. I enjoyed it. But okay, so now it is like five-ish, just four or something. It might be four. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Um, so I think I'm gonna go walk around in Spirit of Halloween and then get food. Or do I want food now? I never did get lunch, but I really do want to um, show that you can go to a restaurant by yourself um, because you absolutely can. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Y'all, I'm so tempted to get this, or these. <gasps> these are freaking cool, the Sanders Sisters, Hocus Pocus, one of my favorite movies of all time ever. I just said the Sanders Sisters, and for this is my favorite movie of all time ever. Sanderson, Sanderson Sisters. Honestly, I thought this might be the move, like a mug. Binks is my boo. A muck, a muck, is this a candle? Just a jar? Cute. As I live and breathe, here are the Sanderson sister costumes. Kind of into it. And then also just like regular Halloween decorations. <gasps> T-shirts, oh my gosh, you got Stranger Things merch. Camp Nowhere. A classic. Sadly, none of the uh, Hocus Pocus stuff was in my size, but now I'm in the Harry Potter section. I just actually went to Harry Potter World. I'll leave the link, the link to the vlog in the card. Um, I went to the Wizarding World. So I have the little, like, the cape. So I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna do a Harry Potter character this year. Okay. So I just actually got out of Spirit of Halloween. Normally I don't take bags, like plastic bags. I bring my bags with me or I just don't get one, but I got something fragile, so I did go for the bag just so I don't break it. So let's do car haul 2.0. First thing I picked up is this bracelet. It's a $2 donation to Spirit of Children, which is their um, foundation to help children. <laughs> um, I picked up this little headband. It's just like a little, Bow pumpkins is black and orange, which I'm really excited about. I was telling the cashier, I haven't really been into Halloween in the past. My grandmother actually passed away on um, Halloween when my dad was a kid. For a while, we just like, didn't really do anything for it. I mean, we went trick or treating, but we didn't like really decorate or anything. And then at some point, he like flipped the script and went all out, and our house was like a haunted house. And so we kind of like my whole life would flip flop between those two things. Like sometimes we would celebrate, sometimes we wouldn't. This year, I I think I got bit by the Halloween bug because like I'm so excited for it. Anyway, the next couple of things I picked up is this towel here. It's just like a dish towel. It's got little purple pom-poms on the bottom. It's from the Hocus Pocus line, obviously. So here are your Sanderson sisters right here. And then I got a second one that just says, it's a full moon and the weirdos are out, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. And it has like the little black tassels at the bottom. So they're matching, but not like identical which I quite like. Um, the next thing I got is this little pumpkin. It's Jack Skellington um, from The Nightmare Before Christmas. This was like five bucks and each of the towels were $5 as well. Um, so I picked that up. I thought this was really cute. I have a few pumpkins on my headboard. I figured I can put that with it. The other Hocus Pocus thing I got is this one, which says, I put a spell on you and now you're mine. And this is also Hocus Pocus. So you have this side, Winnie and and then, yeah, and this is the And Now You're Mine, and here's Binks. Who is, he's like a little messed up, but I kind of think he has a character. 
So I think it's cute. So yeah, I got this, which I think is gonna be a nice little hot chocolate mug <laughs> for Halloween time. And I actually sit outside at a table on Halloween night and usually we have like drinks with us, like sitting outside, like warm drinks because it gets cold. So I thought that would be a good mug for that. And that was $10. Not that it's not already cool to donate, but another cool thing that Spirit is doing, at least in my area, there is this place called the Chesterfield Berry Farm, which is a good like 30, 45 minutes from where I live. And um, if you donate, like you buy one of those bracelets, then you get a discount at the Berry Farm, which is really cool that um, a lot of different organizations are working together to encourage people to donate. So really cool. Um, now, I was gonna go get food, but I'm still not hungry. So I think I'm just gonna head home for now. Um, my parents are still at their event thing. So I think I'm just gonna go home and hang out and maybe bake or something, which I wanted to make a cake today and that just like, I spent so much time just like out and about, which is fine. I've had a really great day. Um, but maybe I have, I think, cake mix or cookie mix at home, so I might bake that. And they're on their way home, so I will probably be in like the middle of doing that when they get home. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably get dinner with them. I'm like very ambiverted, and so for me, I like to have alone time, but then I also need time with people. So like when I ran into my high school bud um, in Target, like I really appreciated that because like, it was nice for me to have interaction with some person or even just like chit-chatting with the um, cashier at Spirit of Halloween. I really appreciated that because it's like some sort of human interaction which like really feeds my soul. And I still think that it's totally acceptable and honestly healthy to spend time by yourself sometimes. It makes sure that you don't become too reliant on other people. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna head home now. Yo, I came home to the alarm on my house going off. Oh geez, Gizmo, you just scared. My dog just scared the crap out of me. Um, so, <laughs> baking's being delayed. I walked around the house with a knife. I didn't see anyone. And um, yeah, don't ask me. My parents are like nearly home. So I'm just gonna like hang out and wait. <laughs> but yeah, a little trippy. Seems like no one actually broke in. Gizmo wasn't freaking out. And that he would do that. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm not gonna like, I'm just gonna decompress. What a fun time to be alive. Hey guys, so I actually just got back from dinner. It is like 9.30. Um, and so originally I was going to go to dinner by myself. My parents were at a festival. Um, and then when they got back, I hadn't eaten anything since like 9.30 this morning. So I was like, all right, I'm hangry, I need food, I'm going to get food. And then um, I asked my dad if he wanted anything and then they were just like, oh, we'll just go to dinner with you. Um, so I ended up going out to dinner with my parents, which was a nice end to the day. And then we went and got sweet frog afterwards, which is like frozen yogurt. So it was a really good night. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to round out this video by just saying like, this is just a reminder that you can do things by yourself. And in fact, like I said earlier, I actually think it's really healthy to spend just some time with yourself. Um, I think we live in a really crazy world where there's just constant connectivity and it's just hard to turn it off. I'm one of those kinds of people who like to turn it off. I don't always carry my phone around with me. Um, like when I'm home, obviously if I'm not in my home, I have my cellular device on me, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm like looking at it all the time. Um, and yeah, I just think that it's really important to just like turn off sometimes and just spend some one-on-one -on -one time with yourself. It's something that I think a lot of people forget to do, myself included sometimes. It's super healthy to just spend some time with yourself, not feel like you have to have somebody else with you when you go places, that's called codependency. So yeah, anyway, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's very different from what I normally do, but you did get a fashion haul, so there's the little fashion kick in there. Anyways, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you like this content. Um, I upload fashion-related videos every single Sunday. Normally, it's fashion stuff. But anyway, love you guys a ton. I'm gonna watch Queer Eye now and or read Jonathan Van Ness's book because I didn't even get to touch it today. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Better not to talk at all is my advice.